Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. In this video, we're gonna be doing a code snippet walkthrough. In this particular code snippet, we're gonna block specific email addresses or a specific email address from being able to check out from your WooCommerce store, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this snippet. You can get your hands on this snippet by going to the My Listing Club website. That's mylisting.club. Clicking on the menu button up here at the top of the screen, going to resources. And then because this is a recent um, code snippet that I've published, you'll find it right here in this top row, prevent specific email addresses from checking out with WooCommerce. So we'll go ahead and click onto that. As you see at the very top here, you're gonna um, see a recommendation for WP Cobox. Can't recommend it enough if you care about the performance of your website, the ease of administration as far as code snippets go, um, securely storing them and sharing them in the cloud and a whole bunch of other stuff um, that's with the plugin now and coming any day now to their massive uh, uh, 2.0 version that's coming out. So definitely check it out. Uh, there's a link to, to tell you, to kind of show you why I switched a, a while back. And there's also a discount for 25% off for club members, which W Cobox is already way, way too cheap in my uh, opinion. It's, it's worth way more money than what they're selling it for. So definitely get your hands on it. Uh, a little taxonomy breakdown here, um, category of code snippets and the other category is PHP code snippets. Click in any of those and you're going to see uh, all the snippets related uh, to those categories. Uh, I filed this under administration and uh, WooCommerce. So if you click on either of those tags, you're going to filter by any code snippets uh, under those tags. A uh, bit of important instructions here. I highly recommend that you test any code snippets and staging. I don't care where you got get them from, club, a developer, anywhere. Uh, test them in staging first before rolling them out to production. The last thing you want to do is knock your website offline or produce um, results on the front end that um, just don't look good, that break other things. Um, you, you risk damaging the trust of your customers. Um, you could actually, you know, harm their ability, hurt their ability to do business if they rely on your websites to, to communicate with people or do certain things. So you just want to be sure um, you keep that trust going with them by not breaking your live website, test and staging. Um, the last bit of instructions here are for step-by-step -step how to add this to WP Cobox. Um, you're going to see that here in this video live too. Um, but yeah, so what the snippet does is it checks the billing email field of the WooCommerce checkout page. If the email address matches any of the email addresses or email address you have defined in this code snippet, the following actions will execute when the user clicks on the place order button. A custom error message will be shown, the cart will be emptied, and the user will not be able to check out. This snippet is useful if you are finding the same email address, um, spamming your store over and over again with fake orders. Uh, you wanna block the competition um, from obtaining your products. Uh, I've seen it time and time again, even with my own store where uh, a competitor or someone that wants to try to compete will, will, will download something and try to resell it or um, copy it or whatever. Um, but it, so if you know what, who those people are, um, you can block their addresses from there. Um, or if you've had bad experiences with specific customers, so um, maybe somebody's ordered multiple products from you or services or whatever, they didn't pay um, or refused to pay, like did like a chargeback or filed a, you know, a complaint just so they didn't have to pay you in the end, things of that nature. Just you want to be able to block those people going forward. Um, yeah, so it's really simple. You just edit um, to, to make the changes with the custom email addresses. You just edit line three of either of these code snippets. Uh, which you're going to see in this video uh, with the addresses you want to block, save, and, and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this to my other screen here. Here we are looking at a test my listing website, and uh, I've just clicked on WP Cobox here. Uh, that's so uh, I'm looking at the WP Cobox dashboard. There's no snippets in here, it's a clean slate. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is just I'm going to drop in a, a dummy version of the snippet. This is not the actual snippet. This is just a subset, I'm gonna drop this in, and all you will do on line three, you will just set this to an actual email address. You know, 
whatever, um, Ryan at mylisting.club or, you know, or whatever you want to block there. Okay. If you want to block multiple addresses, you would use it's the same. It's line three of either code snippet that you copy, but you'll notice there's the ability to add multiple email addresses. Okay. Um, if you want to add more, uh, it's just a matter of duplicating what's here. So uh, let's see what's the difference here equals. So you see the fields are the same, the brackets and blah, 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 blah. So what you want to copy then is this part right here. I'll put this in the notes too of the snippet. Okay. You would drop that in just like that. And then that would give you your third address. Okay. But that's how you would do it. I'll put that in, in the notes as well. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'm going to move, actually move this to my other screen. I'm going to drop in the real snippets. So first off, we're going to do the, the single address. So all I'm doing is dropping this into W code box, the same screen that you saw, I'm clicking save and I'm clicking enable. That's it. Um, other than changing that email address. So I'm going to put in, uh, let's put in dummy at my listing dot club. Okay. So again, dummy at my listing dot club, we're doing the single address block here blocking. Now I'm going to go to the front end of this test site and we're going to test this out. So here we are looking at the shop page of this, my listing site. We're going to click add to cart. We're going to click proceed to checkout. I've got some information, some dummy information in here already, but this is the key part here. So email address dummy at my listing club. This is what it's going to look for. This is what the code snippet's going to look for. Okay. As soon as we hit the place order button, we're going to see this all start to take effect. There we go. The email address specified is not allowed to place orders on our website. Your cart has been emptied. Okay. So let's go back and check that out. Let's go to the cart. There we go. So we see our cart is empty. Just that simple. And that with that code snippet, it's very easy. You'll, you'll be able to see it. Uh, you can change that, that error message that showed there. You can do whatever you want there, but it's, it's really simple to change this snippet. Okay. I'm going to drop in the other snippet, which is for the multiple email addresses. For this one, I'm going to say the first email address is again, dummy at my listing dot club. And then the second one, I'm going to say, we'll call it um, super dummy, super dummy at mylisting.com. Okay. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back to our shop, add the product to our cart, proceed to checkout. We already have dummy at mylisting.club in there. So let's, let's change this to super dummy. and place order. So there we go. Same error message. This email specified is not allowed to place orders on our website. Your cart has been empty. Let's go to the cart. Cart's empty. Let's go back to the shop. Let's do the same process again, but this time let's put that dummy email, the other dummy email address back. So now it's just, there we go. So let's try this again. There we go. We've got that same error message in there. So now our code snippet is in place. If you want to add multiple addresses, um, you can go nuts there and specify as many as you want. Again, you can change this error message, how it reads. Um, you can change the action. If you don't want the cart to be emptied, that's a pretty easy setting um, to make as well. Uh, you'll see that there, there's a line item in the snippet and you can just take that out. Um, if you're unsure about any of this stuff, please, please drop into the, the club's Facebook group and uh, happy to work through any issues with this snippet. Um, you can also place a comment in, on the, within the video uh, on YouTube if you have any questions, um, but I'm likely gonna direct you to the Facebook group since uh, this is paid content and that's where support is done. So just be aware of that. 
just be aware I might redirect you there. So it's best if you just place um, place your questions in the Facebook group to start. So it's my listening club Facebook group. All right, all right, guys. I hope you found this useful and uh, it help really helps your store. Um, hopefully, you're not having any of the issues that I've outlined, um, but maybe someday you will. Uh, hopefully, you won't. Uh, please hit subscribe so you know when the next video comes out. Yeah, it really means a lot to me and uh, keeps me motivated to do these videos. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care.